What is up, y'all? We are back with another episode of Brutally Simple Cooking, and today on the docket, we've got T-Balls or T-Burgers, which is our liver balls and liver burgers recipe. That's right. Now, you know you need to be getting more organs in your diet, but they're organs, and they don't taste that great usually, so what you got to do is you got to sneak them in there, and that's what we're doing here. You can barely taste them. We got the proportions down perfectly. Now, remember what brutally simple cooking means. It means using as close to real food ingredients as possible, minimal ingredients, opting for non-neurotic processes, keeping things simple and elegant, opting to break the rules whenever possible, and pro tip, also mise en place, which means have everything in its place beforehand so you're not running to the store last minute in the middle of cooking to get something you forgot. So, let us begin. All right, so we've got a pound of ground beef and we wanna crumble that into a mixing bowl. It makes it easier to mix, all right? Then, we're doing a pound, half a pound, quarter pound. We got a half a pound of bacon. Now you can use something like chorizo or some sausage, but I think bacon gives it a really good flavor. All right, and I did use a scale to kind of weigh that out. It's a little bit more than half a pound. So I'd say pound of ground beef, half a pound of a cured or flavored meat, and then we've got a quarter pound of chicken liver, all right? Now, also for seasoning, when we go to mix everything up, we've got our brutally simple combo of unrefined salt, fresh pepper, and then garlic powder. Now, you can use fresh garlic and shallots or onions, but I'm telling you right now, those seem to overpower the flavor. I think this little seasoning combo keeps it super simple, and it tastes amazing. I also like to throw in some shredded or uh, um, grated Parmesan cheese. You could also do some goat cheese or something like that. So this is gonna taste amazing right here. Now, also what we need is a food processor and here we've got the, uh, the Ninja, okay? So something that you can use to mix up the liver and the bacon or your flavored cured meat, all right? Also, we've got, I'm gonna bake these in the oven so I'm gonna use a stainless steel cookie sheet and then also some coconut oil cooking spray to keep the burger patties from sticking to the tray. All right. Oh, and also we can use an optional egg or egg yolk to kind of hold things together, but you're gonna notice the liver kind of makes it gooey and soft anyway. So that's kind of an optional thing. I think it's gonna work either way, but I am gonna throw an egg yolk in there. All right, so let us begin. All right, so we've got the food processor here, all plugged in and ready to go. So we're gonna throw in the pre-cut up and pre-chopped bacon. And then we're also going to throw in the chicken liver. And then we're going to pulse that until it gets nice and semi-mixed, all right? All right, cool. I think that looks nice, nice and mixed. All right, then we're gonna add our egg yolk. We're gonna add a little bit of salt. Probably don't need that much salt because the bacon's already got some salt and some flavoring in it. A decent amount of fresh pepper. A little bit of garlic powder. And the secret ingredient, some grated cheese. Grated Parmesan. Now we're just gonna mix this up really well. It already smells really good with the bacon and the garlic. All right, now we're gonna take our stainless steel cookie sheet. We're gonna use a little bit of coconut nonstick spray. We're gonna make our patties and our balls. Now, pro tip, you probably wanna take off your uh, rings before you start this process. I'm also gonna make some little meatballs. This is what we call the tea balls. All right, now we're gonna place these in the oven at 360 for as long as it takes for these suckers to cook, about probably 30, 35 minutes. All right, so check it out. Look at that gorgeousness. That was at about 30 minutes. Now we're gonna see what they taste like. All right, so let's taste these. You can serve them with all the accoutrement or I just like to eat it by itself because it's got that bacon in it. It's got the little bit of salt. Oh, those are so amazing. Or 
my favorites to dip it in some approved ketchup. I am so proud of these. They taste so good. You cannot taste the liver in these things. All right, now let's review what we did here today. Um, you know, very simple list of ingredients. We got a pound of ground beef, a half a pound of bacon, and then a quarter pound of liver. I think that's perfect proportions. You barely taste the liver, if at all. Burger tastes amazing by itself. You can do all the accoutrements, whatever. But anyway, um, use the food processor to grind up the bacon and the liver. And then we added that to some pre-crumbled ground beef, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, and um, some optional Parmesan cheese, maybe even some goat cheese or something like that. But it's, it's amazing just by itself, all right? So pro tip, you should be getting about a quarter pound of liver in every week. And T-balls or T-burgers is the perfect way to do it.